Morning everybody. Now today you join me at a place where I fished it before, had an incredible day, only had a few hours. Um, but this place has just gone under a massive revamp. We've had a couple of matches on here already, carp anglers are catching loads of fish, and I tell you what, some of the match results catching like in excess of two hundred pound a carp this early on after having it stocked and then filled back up with water. And today I am at the lovely Wasborough Reservoir that says Wasborough Mill, but Wasborough Res Reservoir's up there. Just gonna pay for some parking. And uh, I'm going to walk you around the place. But this is the car park anyway. So I've come down off the main road there. Up towards Barnsley and M1 that way. Got Red Lion Pub there. Come down. Pull in here. Got a nice little cafe over there it says. Looks pretty active. And you've got all this car parking space here. I'm parked over there. And you can walk up that way in Res. There's also like walkways around there. There's a map here. But first, every angler's nightmare the car park now don't know how long i'm gonna be here but over two hours is only three quid can't say any fairer than that so i'm gonna whack in three english ones um let's press a button and you get one of these so i'm just gonna chuck that in with vehicle so yeah just over three hours today's date whack it in your dash last thing you want is to be losing out on a three quid deal and getting government to 25 quid parking ticket, so dashboard like that. Ticket on display, and let's go for a walk around. Now, I have brought some animal testers just to make sure that you know, ducks they're real and uh, they're not just for show. Loads of car parking up here. Now, this is the this is the second installment of these videos that I'm doing called Fishery Audits. I'm no auditor, you know, I'm just a member of the public, you know, just a rightful civilian, just going about my business, as I would if I were walking a dog, or riding a bike, or going for a run. So I'm going to walk you around Wasborough Reservoir, I'm going to talk about all the things that I think are a positive. What I won't do is ignore the negatives. So if you're walking around anywhere and there's dog crap all over the place, or it's covered in litter, you know, you want to say something, you know, you want to say something. And luckily for platforms like this, and for you guys, we can reach a wider spread community. So let's go for a look. This is the path down towards car parking ticket thing. This is obviously where you can drive up if you work for trust or whatever. And as you walk up this way towards Res, this is obviously from Outlet at Res. I do believe there's another outlet as well. This is one at Paths. Takes you up onto the road that way. And then you can go through this gate. And I think there's another one that takes you up that way as well. But let's go and have a look in real time. Miller's tea rooms. Information point. Shop and toilets. Get this in a rubber and a pencil. Trends Pennine Trail. We spent years on that as a kid when I we was younger. On my bike. Pedestrians this way. Uh, but we're going to walk up this way, so we're going to walk up this way towards Res. This is where I come with tackle last time, and uh, I'll show you what's up here. There's a little gateway there going up there. That's obviously something private, I think. I think this is going to be part of tea rooms here. We keep walking down this path, lovely path. It's like that loose gravel they chuck down on roads before uh, they let it settle and start marking it. But this stuff really grippy in winter as well, so. Ideal. I remember it now. So this is Canal. This is endpoint at Canal here. So oh, plenty of flappy quackers. Nice bit of canal. Safety ring over there. Looking lovely. I think if I remember rightly, it's like a water control point for the canal. I'm sure, they can let it out quicker. That's that outlet gate over there. And this footbridge here is what I went over. Looks like they've got some planning up here, look. Wasborough Banking Renewal Artists and Fresh. Oh, I think that's what, they, that's what they've done. So if you get a good eye, a good look at that. If you go on previous videos, you can see, like, myself, Ringer. Um, water level's always been too far down, so we've never really had a chance to fish up on bank re in recent months before it closed. But it didn't look anything like that, so. Very nice. All this bit here. This is probably everything they've dug out that's probably left to be taken away. This will probably use as a store. 
Some of you locals will know more than I will. But that looks like it's been used as probably a storage area for what work they've done. They've walks, Reservoir, Transpennine Trail, Wigfield Farm. Uh, that takes you upside at Canalia. If you want to go on Google Maps and just look at the reservoir from above, you'll get a better picture. Um, obviously, this is not an active canal. A lot of people have been saying that further up, some good fishing in here, some decent roach as well. be nice to come up and have a go on here one day, but looks very nice, very clean. It's in an area of Barnsley where, I can't believe I'm saying this, I don't think you get a lot of riffraff around here. You don't want to get people walking about just chucking shopping trolleys in left, right and centre. It's in quite a nice corner of Barnsley down here. So. Quackers. They're going in left. I'll give them someone to come back. Uh, litter and dog waste. Awesome. Loads of benches there. Do you know what? If you're not coming up here fishing, it'd be nice just to go and have a sit up here in summer, I reckon. Marina, get your wellies ready. Steps. Taking you up. If you only know the steps, there's a slope. So, everyone with wheels... Which is pretty much everybody. Come up here, then up to the res. Looking absolutely incredible. See, I don't remember this corner looking like that. Um, but all that banking over there, look where that chap's fishing, and then all the way up. Just full of pleasure anglers today, but look to it. But they've put like netting all the way round of it, rocks to hold it all still. Looks absolutely immaculate. So what I'm going to do now is... Uh, which way shall I go? I want to walk up and round all that way. Tell you what, I'm going to walk up this way. And then walk my way round up that way. And uh, give you all a nice eyes on what we've got. Anglers only. Fishery rules. Before you even get near water, everything's here for you to see. So... There's no excuses. I imagine a lot of this online anyway, so. Uh, anglers only, lower platform, day tickets. Yeah. Oh, day ticket prices are off there now. Unless you've had them refreshed, we don't know yet. Bird flu sign, danger thin ice, all that stuff. Hmm. But yeah. Going to uh, have a float down this path here. And then what I'll do, I'll drop down onto a few pegs and show you what they've done. Just spoke to the first chap down there, not caught out yet. Um, but this is the netting I was telling you about. I'll get down soon and uh, show you. Just going to get around some anglers first, that's it, way. But loads of nice new fresh grass laid down, nice new turf. All rocks packed up nicely and then that netting holding it all back. Looking absolutely stunning from here. So this is off it, I don't know, what would you call this? Trying to think it South Bank, is it? So Sheffield Bank, maybe? I don't know. But I'm on this side, anyway. Uh, got a nice chuck out there. But, I'll have a walk around. Show you what we can see, anyway. Let's get up here a bit more. So, peg-wise, I'm in uh, 23... 24... Behind here. I don't know if this were an area used to get onto it res to do some at works but they've made a nice a nice tidy finish for banks here all this brickwork looks new here nice new railing all over here so as you walk up this path this is just another area where you can pop down if you want or get your barrow down or leave your barrow up here i guess and take your tackle down and uh, it means that you can get onto these pegs in intervals all the way down without having too much angler congestion Right, so now I'm coming up towards peg 15 that way, so lower numbers are that way. I thought it went higher that way. I've just come around this bend here on this bank. I'm going to walk up here again. Got this next to us. Really nice. All the way down, look. Really nice. And from what I've read as well, they've actually lifted all this up. So you've actually got a bit more casting space behind you as well. So you're not likely to catch on this pole here as easy when you're casting which is awesome. I got told last time I fished here last year that all these slabs that were on here when water level went down they were finding them in there where people had thrown them in. Look how many are missing. I have been bloody knackered. Anglers only on lower platform, Barnsley and District 
Angling Association S, whatever that is. Uh, but I'm going to drop down here and give a bit of eyes on what this is like. So, not steepest steps in the world, them. But you get a barrow down them, and then you can get an empty barrow back up them, uh, fill it up, and so on and so forth. Uh, but I am at sort of peg 10 area, peg 11. Nice to walk on. Don't need any wellies. It's not very really muddy this time of year. If it's going to be boggy anyway, it's going to be this time of year. And in summer, I imagine this will be a lovely place to be sat. But yeah, that were a good old drop down there that way. Before water level come back up and before they don't work. But this netting, it is just like paracord netting. And that stuff is solid. Uh, I imagine over time, a lot of you might think that this, it will just wear away. Well, ideally, yes. But the longer these rocks are packed in, in sequence as they are like this, if in 10, 15 years this does wear away, it won't be war and peace to either redo it, but the point is that all these rocks will be packed in by then. So it's uh, really, really tidy. Looks really smart. All the way down, really uniform look like a show venue now it looks absolutely brilliant i think if this place is going to keep holding it matches like it does and i'm a massive match fan i uh this place is going to keep holding matches like it does could do with some uh, big qualifier introductories this place because look nice to be nice to be seeing this place angling times and have you and behind a few catch shots and match results all right let's go a bit further down see what we can see if you look here, you can actually see a lot more of that netting underneath water with rocks in it. So I imagine it's just probably got a bit of, bit of a drop to it there and you can't see it, but it's not just appeared from nowhere, I don't think that. And it's got, see them circle things there? Look like little propellers. Well, that's going to be a stake through netting and that's going to hold all that still. So worst case scenario, if any of this does start to trim away, and I guess bailiffs will have to just keep their eye on folk, not deliberately cutting it or setting fire to it. You've got all that platform there as well. But to hold all this together while all work's been done on it, it's plenty enough anyway. I think it looks absolutely brilliant. It's done a great job. But now, go a bit further up here and have a look. This is one area I've never been. I never really managed to work out on Google Maps either, because I don't know if you can walk around it all. I've seen people walking that path here, but I don't know if you can walk around it or not, so I'm going to go and have a look see if you can. So, peg two. And all the way up to end peg. Peg one. Ah, if you look here, look. If a lot of you have seen my videos on Artil Reservoir, this was one thing I wanted to look out for on here. Because water level's been down for so long while work's been done, naturally, stuff started to grow in that silt, and water level's come back up, and now you can just see tops of these little bushes here. But you know them, after speaking with fishery specialists from Canal and River Trust, all this stuff sticking up that's growing, a lot of people might see it as massive like snag issues, but because it's already growing in silt, it does pull out really easily when the silt's damp again. And all this stuff here will absolutely go mad munching away and all this stuff. And we all new stocks that have gone in. We'll be having a field day, I can assure you. So don't worry too much about all these snags sticking up. They're not massive issues. Then you've got all this area up here. So still at peg one. This is like your end peg. Can't really go up there. You won't want to anyway. And you've got all that bit up there like that. Where you could probably sort of cast into. I imagine it's a lot shallower up there. But loads and loads of water to go out over there. And then from peg one, your first peg on that far bank is where them two chaps are there. So I'll be walking around there soon, but apparently that's a new peg that's been put in. And you've got all these pegs here, as normal, going down to platforms and staging over there. So I'm going to have a walk around there in a minute. But first, I want to get back up onto this path here, just by walking down up steps onto the path. And then over there, and then I want to try and circle my way all the way around. Because I... A funny feeling these guys are walking away around so i'm going to go and follow them we'll have a walk around but loads of water to go out here from peg one someone's spotting all the way out there that were a long cast that were whoever that were that spawn there look going away back to that angle on that that were a cast and half that way 
Right, let's go for a walk around and see what else we can find. But so far, absolutely stunning venue. Keep seeing the keep seeing anglers like Nick Speed and is it Nick Askey, who done well up here in that match of the week. Loads of anglers up here, all doing absolutely wicked. To say these fish got dropped straight in after work were done, and they're doing over two hundred pound bags is just incredible. So if you want to get up here, get some money in your wallet and come up and enjoy a, a well-deserved day ticket. Don't know how I feel about this, but I mean, as long as it's policed well, I've always said this, if you if you get enough people walking around a venue, you won't have these sort of problems, but these peg plaques are just tied down with these metal, they are metal ties as well, like what you have on a CV boot or something, but the uh, you could easily cut that off, but they need looking after. Ideally, you could do with putting them drill into the wall, but yeah, I don't know. I'm probably just being picky, but it looks nice. Can't say it's a bad decision, but probably something to keep an eye out for. Steps again, these are just concrete plinths, just big enough to get my little size 13s on, and up onto the top. And what I have noticed here again is another safety ring. So Massively stands out as well. Easy to grab, easy to throw in. So uh, wicked dog bin as well. Awesome around here. Not many places look after it like this. So you can walk round it. I think it just sounds a, a little bit complex to what people thought. But as I have just been walking, talking to them chaps, there's something green out there, like a big bottle or something. There's been loads of carp top in there. I say loads of, I mean three. That's loads for me this time of year. And there's uh, somebody's dog. Are oh, you lost? Glorious Greaves. Who on earth wrote that? Nah, they are a lovely bird to be fair. So then you've got this path here. Oh, another safety ring up there. Look, that's awesome. Uh, bit of treat water here. They're all this here. I imagine that'll get full of fish in the summer. Nice bench. Loads of safety signs up. Bridge going over here. What we got here? Something to do with old mine or something. That is one big chunk of wood, that. Is that all one piece? Oh, I break weren't, you know. I break weren't. Look at that thing. Stunning. Another bench. Another little den thing over there. Bear houses. Dog bin. Awesome. If you want a, a good example of a nicely laid out reservoir, then this is definitely it. Really nice place. Gate here. We've got a lock on it. I bet that's a gate that you can just bring down and put on that. And you've got what he mentioned about the crossroads. Private land, no parking. Up that way. And we're going to go this way over this bridge. Now we're coming over to back at Res. Bit of a water feed here going into that stream. I think that goes round and then round again that. So you've got this long path all the way up back edge at Res. Have a walk up here and uh, show you what's up here as well, but just all derelict tree life here. And uh, probably an absolute wildlife heaven I'm guessing. A lot of little bird houses scattered about in trees as well, which is nice. Mm-hmm. Yep. Ah, yep, lovely, lovely. Now he said to turn right again. Looks like you can walk straight up there. But I'm going to turn right down here. Loads of water table at back here in all these trees. The water table over here as well. Really healthy place. When you get a lot of water like this, slowly flowing into a venue like that, you get all good levels out of soils and trees and silts roots really good healthy water oh little robin just flew off right so you can then go this way i imagine just takes you up that way then you've got that way we've only got two signs here so we'll just stick to these yeah uh, wickfield farm mill museum shop toilets seed stump 
and then we'll go down this way and show you what we can find. But I thought that was a huge snail, and it's not. Another reason why I like doing these is because a lot of people will see people on Facebook writing posts about match results or just enjoying a nice day out fishing. And it's nice just to come and have a walk around because I'm uh, lucky enough to be blessed with a lot of time. It's just nice to come and have a walk around and just show you guys, you know, what what is happening. Someone you might think, oh, I'd like to go up there, but I don't know if you can walk all the way around it or not. Or I'd like to go up there, but I don't know what pegs are like. I've got a bad back, you know. I need toilet every 10 minutes. You know, because I'm 34 and I have all them sort of problems now. So sometimes it's nice just to see what something's like before we go. And if you can get a good enough layout of something, you might think, I'm going to go there. I'm going to have a day fishing. And I'm going to catch 300 pound of carp. Wild about Wasborough. Common frog. No wonder frogs have croaky voices. They don't drink. Instead, they absorb water through their skin. I already knew that. Alright, we're still on that path. We're probably at middle now. You can see it down wall. Through trees right over there. We've got like a bit of an entrance bit here. Some water. Obviously, you can't fish here. And you wouldn't go through there because it would be dangerous. But just nice to see like some back areas and just get you know an eyes on of an area of the lake that you probably wouldn't normally see unless you walked around it so a lot of match anglers probably fish here a lot but don't live local enough to walk around it some of them might have fished it for 10 years 15 20 years but they've never actually seen all these bits so even for those guys that come here a lot you know it's just nice to give a good venue a bit of good pr oh Mr. Robin or Mrs. Robin? I think that's Mrs. Robin. About Wasbra. Grass snake. To scare off predators, grass snakes emit garlic smelling fluid from their anal glands. They play dead when they feel threatened. I do that. Nice little uh, natural flow in here. How clear that water is there. God, that's clear. When you get like an orangey colour like that, it's coming through, the water's coming through an area that's really high in iron content. I know that because I grew up in an area that used to be all pits years ago back at Chesterfield. And all the streams through the woods were all orange. Little Robin there, look, following me. Everywhere I go. You can have a bit of bread. Yeah. You gotta see it first. Chuck it down there on the floor. And he's going to go down for it, look. See if he'll take it. He's got it. Now, got a little breaking path here. So I walked up that way. So a public footpath takes you over that bridge. And wherever that graffiti tells you to go. Uh, reed beds and wetlands. Wild about Wasbury. Harvest mouse. Harvest mice are so small that their Latin name. My crummies. Minutus means the tiny small mouse. Marina, I promise that will not be your new nickname, I promise. Nice bit of water here. Just means it's got a nice steady flow of water into it rares besides any man-made inlets. With all these fields around and all this high ground, you're gonna have lots of water making its way into it rares over time through sort of wet seasons, winter, etc. Just more healthy water for, for lake. Wild about Wasbra. Willow tit. Rotten willow, birch and alder stumps provide the perfect place for willow tits to dig out their nesting holes. Mmm. Love this. That rabbit. You can have some more bread. Oh, he flew off over there. He's a different one. He's a goner. Let's chuck a bit of bread just on there, look. And it's a wayfront path, and, uh, and you can get it. What you don't want to do with robins is give them massive chunks. So, little bits like that, look. That were a bit too big, but I just chucked that. Because they can only take so much at a time, because they're only small. 
And this bread, it's heavy. Right, come on to this bit of decking now. Lovely stuff. It's not wood. It's that moulded plastic stuff that lasts for years and years. And if it burns or people destroy it, which they do, it's easily replaced. It's not cheap, but it'll last two lifetimes as what wood would. Wood, 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 wood. Not a bit of a cushion there. That there, and all this rubbish, it's going to be from flooding. Look, can you see? It's where it's all had flood water, so that's not people chucking cushions off. Nice little passing place here as well. Bit of tree control going off. Well maintained. Oh, what was that? That's a colourful little bit. Yeah, really nice. Very nice. You've got this water flowing in here. Nice bit of depth to that as well. Oh wow, look at this little bridge here. Lovely. Looks deep that. Bet there's some fish in that. Hey, right, over this bridge. Willow car, another little information stand about wildlife. Another one of these posts. Some more wetland there behind. And this uh, path going off this path up there. And now we're going to walk around this way and make his way down towards them far pegs. I know this bit's not very angling related, but it's uh, something different. Very nice. Mr. Robin, following me everywhere. I can see you. Well, Mrs. Robin, oh, there's two. Thought you moved branches. Right, let's get it down there. Look off at path. Oh, one's already dropped down for it. Get ready. A bit more. There's one. A little bit on here as well. Like that. And Mr. Robin up there. You can come and get it. I slowly walk off. And give a lifesaver. Let me see one drop down for some. No. Oh. There he is, look. Gorgeous bird. Wild about Wasbra, European hedgehog. Prickly hedgehogs deter predators by munching on toxic plants and coating their spines with frothy, poisonous saliva. And I didn't know that. See, even walking around Wasbra Res, bit of a school day. So even if you want to come up and you're not much of an angler, or you want to just come up and have a walk. There's plenty to look at. Bring kids up. I'm sure kids would love a, a walk around here with dog or even on the bikes or whatever. Lovely, lovely place. So, uh, yeah, not just a fishing ground. There's a bit of something for everybody. And now I'm on what looks like the muddiest path in the world, but it's like that tacky mud. Uh, it widens up all the way down here. Nice big old path. I don't know what you want, fella. I don't know what you want. See how tame you are. Reckon you can get on my hand and have it. Get on my hand and have it if you want it. Hey? Oh, don't be like that. Yeah. Want some bread? Tell you what. Put it down here for you. How's about that? Put it there. And then you can come in and get it. There we go. Love that co-op bread. All the blue tits coming there. We have to we have to snatch and run. So now we just come in to this open water here in this corner at res. So that's far bank over there where I were before on peg one. And then you've got all this in here. Big geese there. Massive geese there, not swans there, big geese there, big orange feet on them look. Bit of control here. What on back of these? Let's have a look. Apologies, the path around the reservoir is closed today due to flooding. That makes sense then. That flooding that we saw up there earlier on, where you can see it's been flooding, this would have been stopping people from going. Oh, Wasbra. Wild about Wasbra fact. Tree creeper. Tree keepers search trunks for insects and seeds, but can only climb up trees 
not down them. Whoa, there almost be millions of them there. Loads of seagulls, them big floating things there. Don't know what they are, but I think they're just floating islands that get dragged out into the res. Um, loads more tree control around here and all this obviously trees that get cut down and branches and everything all get utilized I've noticed this right red they'll get woven into like little edge rows but leaving stuff like this lying about as well it's not people might see it as a bit of an eyesore but it's not like it's brilliant for wildlife and I'm no wildlife expert so here again look not so much that that's been done differently but it's all woven so Big stakes in, and then just weaving it out. Bit of a site over there for like bushcraft or what have you. There's a lovely bench here. Mill song, rest my palm against the stone. The mill wheel sings ah uh, something into my skin. Ah, what are you paying for then? Money can't buy that. Lovely, absolutely stunning. A few uh, wet wipes, but might be an emergency bum change for someone's baby. Another one of these things, another bin. Awesome stuff. You never have enough bins. Bins are awesome. Look at that room in that and all. Good thing about this area is, I bet you could drive up here in like a little buggy and go empty. Lots of fence control here as well. Right, first few pegs up here, a couple of anglers there. Uh, calf anglers, anglers all down them pegs, and then you've got all this open space here. Oh, so no, they are pegged here, look. Right. So end peg, peg 59. I'm sure this is where Speedy were on his match results for the week, up in 50s. But uh, loads of seagulls out there. Loads of room around here. You've got all this casting room behind you as well, which is awesome. Really, really nice. So I'm going to go a bit further down. See if any of these are catching down here and all. You having much? Oh, How are you? Ah, oh, not bad. Yeah. No. Uh, it's all right work-wise, they're cracking on with it. They were delayed because of the floods we had last year and everything, but... Yeah, a lot of people were saying that. I spoke to Gaz after because only a few weeks before I were at Dan Flask and he was sat with you and he zoomed and I, he zoomed in on me on the other side he zoomed in on the other side at the bank and Yeah I right, like eleven meter top kits or Yeah. I bet Awesome. Nick speed wagging one. Great, I'm gonna plod on Nick anyway. Yeah, nice to see you, mate. Yeah, you too, bud. Oh, yeah. Did a bit. Mr. Nick speed wagging. We'll see these chaps down here and then walk along these pegs up here, but loads of loads of fish showing from this side for Nick. And as I were over there on pond on the uh, peg one, there were loads showing over there as well. But is we match fishing magazine at the minute, so I'm gonna go out his way. Go and see some of these. We'll Right, so where them carp anglers are there, you've got access to this staging and it takes you all the way down and you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, probably about eight pegs along this staging and there's a break in it there. I'm just going to take you to that break and uh, just show you that bit a bit closer. So this is water at back, you've got a nice inlet of water here coming in, it comes up through all these logs and what have you. And you've got a break stage in here, and it's not that it's missing or it got broken and they didn't replace it. It's actually buried off at each end. It might have gone all the way across at some point. But my theory is, it's like a bit of a road access here, a bit of a path road that you could probably get down with your vehicle. It'd make sense to leave this open so you can get like an emergency boat in to get out into the main lake probably. But uh, that's a clear view of those anyway. So all this here, look for example, these chaps here fishing. And there's actually barriers on end of each one that could have been put on after, but you know, it would make sense for it to have a gap in it, I guess. 
for the safety ring here signs up loads of signs about safety and danger and water and all that stuff even more so now it's actually filled back up with water when you've got all these anglers here it was all the way down a bit of staging there down to the bottom i'm going to show you that bit and then you've got this access point again fishery rules above every access point so there's not only no escaping it but there's no arguing saying that no one's told you um but when you come in there's rule boards everywhere anyway but just for those that think ignorance is bliss but another access point here nice access for wheelchair barrier all that stuff so angling here is literally for everybody another bin and it, all these litter bins are uh, dog waste as well so there's uh, every opportunity to come for a walk around here with a dog and absolutely no excuse for picking it up either so uh, yeah put a bit more staging down here and this goes another access point up some steps onto bankment up there really nice pegs just walking around found a massive nest right next to the fence line huge nest it's not active though then you've got this access point here again a couple of rules on there get your barrow down there nice and easy or at least get most of your tackle off get it down Ideally, if you're fishing this place and it's feeder fishing or carping, you're not bringing all gear in world weir anyway, because, you know, you've only got so much room on bank, it's not like you're going completely full set up for a week's worth of fishing just for a day. So, if you come, you want to come sort of light-handed. Another bin there, dog waste as well. All empty as well. Get emptied every day. I've just seen buggy down at car park. We all bagged it back, so they're all going emptied daily. Absolutely stunning. There's a better view of that far point all the way up there and you've got all this stage in here that goes all the way around that side at res and you can now now you can see you can actually access the entire res all the way around as well so really good stuff nice big outlet area here i think this is where we saw a lot of work being done last time there's obviously overflow over there this is an old outlet a controlled one like before and then that's all your old spillway down there Another wild about was fact. Baby herons are called branches. They live in nests up to the trees. Try to spot them in the early spring. More signage. That's for cottage there, so that's all private. And then you get this bit. So you've got a walk off down that way, which can take you down the back towards carpet we went. And we've got this nice walkway here onto down wall. So let's have a walk down here and have a look. Right, down wall. Bit of logs, bit of litter down there, but it's only stuff that's coming off at flooding. I just one of them places this now. You've, I've done nearly a full lap for it. You could point out an absolute mass of rubbish in a corner somewhere and it'd still be absolutely immaculate. Absolutely stunning. Water clarity is absolutely amazing as well. It's that sort of water you look at it and you just know you're going to bag up. How's the Nick's doing at Mr. Angler's up here today? Actually got some chaps down there in water. Looks like they're doing a bit of netting. Or a net, unless they're just getting litter out or something, but they're doing something. Nice big spillway here. All running down. Look at that, looks lovely that. Really nice. No build up of litter down there though. Really well maintained places. Alright, let's go a bit further up and have a look. And off at down wall, you've actually got this bit. You can't fish it. This sign's up saying so, so don't ignore them. Another safety ring. A reservoir. Reservoir was built in 1804 to supply water to the new Woodsboro Spur of the Dane and Dove Canal. Barges travelled along the canal to and from Woodsboro's busy industrial industrial centre. Coal, iron, cloth, lime and glass were exported across Britain and the world. The canal system closed to traffic in 1906 and was abandoned in 1961. The reservoir is now home to many different species of insects, mammals, trees and flowers. So, over there, that bit of canal, that back, it looks like it is now, simply because it's just been an abandoned canal for years and years, but I'm sure further up, you can actually fish it and there's enough water volume in it to hold fish and I'm sure people have said on another Woodsboro 
page on Facebook that there is actually some decent fishing on there, so very nice. But whilst I'm stood here, really deep here, from what I've seen from videos, I've got a fish topping out there. I think it's just a big twig, I think. Um, what they were casting from staging, water level were down, and they were casting over here towards this area, and this is where it held a lot of water at the time, and this is where a lot of fish were sort of residing. So we're uh, definitely not a spot for chucking if uh, you're fishing up to it. There's a chap there fishing on that corner. Another bloke a bit further up, and then you've got all these pegs further up. And that chap over there, it's the first chap I spoke to, so... I said I'd go back and tell him if you can walk round it, because he's never been round it to know either, so... Let's go down here and uh, finish off the audit. Actually, two spillways here, so that's the one we've just come over. And then there's this one here as well. It goes down into some, like, sort of... I don't know, obstruction breakers there, and I'm guessing they aid in holding big logs back and what have you. Probably, who knows. I think there's a mill down there, last thing you want. I think they're designed to stop big logs from going down and through a mill wheel. I don't think that mill wheel is still functioning, but I think that's what they were designed for, to stop snags from clogging it up. Alright, a little bit further down. Really nice though. We've got this area here. Bag of rubbish there, someone's thrown over. And then an old folding chair, someone's chucked over. I don't think there's any access down to it. It's one of them where you've got people down here cleaning it up now. It wouldn't be war and peace for them to come up. They probably just don't know it's there. But it's not like it's uh, an art breaking amount of issues. They might have been pulled out actually by workers when they've been doing work. So can't stand here pointing fingers when I don't sort of come around here every day. But a nice view at a little park down there for kids. I think there's a bit of a cafe and coffee shop down there it said. So plenty to go out if you're coming up. And then back down into this corner again where we started. So uh, I'm just going to go and talk to this chap over here fishing, just tell him you can walk around it because he wanted to know as well earlier. And uh, it was alright, you know what I mean? It was good fishing. Yeah. But, uh, she caught nice, she's just like this. You just find out it's up. We, uh, I went with Pete and uh, I'll fish it a little feeder up to the air pack. It's only fishing mass. So that's that chap just had one. I want to get off. He's a Chesterfield man himself as well, so might end up bumping into him again one day. But that's worth big as for you anyway. What I'm going to do now is just going to drop back down into the car park and go and get off that way. But uh, no, nice gear all bitter and insight and Mr. Nick Speed bagging up over there. Bit of a special treat that way. Oh, another Wild About Wuzzabra Imperia Dragonfly. Amazing hunters, dragonflies use their long legs to catch other insects in mid flight. How interesting. And this is that little bit of a, I think this is a sort of drop off point for canals back in the day. I reckon they just kept it alive. This is an old mill. Another safety point here with safe brewing on. Loads of benches. Oh, ducks here, look. Tell you what, let's get rid of this. They're not bothering. Running away from me, bread. <laughs> God, I don't like hardtail ducks. Hardtail ducks will take your wallet off you. Right, well, I'm not going to force feed them anyway. If they don't want it, they don't have to have it. But yeah, very nice. It's an old uh, control thing here with a trap door underneath there. That obviously, you turn that, that lifts it up. Nice and straightforward. Lovely part of Barnsley, this. Even if you live around Barnsley and you yet to come and check it out, come get to visit. Lovely. Another bin here, look as well. And a dog waste bin, that. Get emptied regular. Earlier on, I come back down for another battery for the camera and uh, there were a wagon parked here, ready to take it all away. So, uh, yeah, good stuff. Another one of these little signs. These are everywhere as well. Really interesting. I'm not really into stuff like that, but another dog bin. Another one of these things. What are these? 
What is that? What oh, that is? Respect parks, bench area, strictly no climbing, defibrillator. Ah, you're well looked after down here. I think people take for granted sometimes. They pay for a day ticket to come fishing and uh, they just iron out a bad day's fishing. There's a reason not to come again. And uh, there's a lot more to it than you think, actually. So, another wild about Wasborough, a nut hatch. Can you hear a bird jam jam jammering? It's probably a nut hatch. The noises of woodland birds. Oh. Can't see I have a lamp post for when it's too bright to have lamps. Don't know what they are. I think they're just barriers. I think maybe they were lamp posts once upon a time. Not sure what they are. Been capped off maybe. And then this is your outlet. Goes down that way and feeds off into the River Dern. I think it said. Very nicely laid out down here. Right, so that's pretty much it for Wasborough Reservoir. What an absolute treat for me to come up here and visit this absolute gem of a fishing venue here in Barnsley. Now, I only live 25 minutes down at M1, so it's not a massive journey for me, but there might be some of you out there that have been wanting to fish this place for many, many years. And if before wasn't a great time, there's no better time to come and pay it a visit now. All the work that's been done, all the fish stocks, and just me walking around today, Watching Nick Speed bagging up, leaning into some big carp, and even carp anglers having 23 carp out before 12 o'clock in the afternoon. There's no better time and no better reason to come up and pay it a visit if you want to push your angling that little bit further, or just come and try out Wasbury for the first time. I know I'm definitely going to be coming and paying a visit. They do regular matches on here as well on a weekend, so probably going to end up jumping in a few of them myself. But if you've got a venue that's nostalgic to you, you've not fished it for a long time or somewhere you want to fish and you just don't fancy it because you've not heard anything great about it or if you know anywhere that's absolutely immaculate and worth my visit or if you know a venue that's run down, derelict, it's been abused and neglected then let me know, jump in comments, give me a few venues and I'll go out and pay them a visit and give you guys a bit of an update on what it looks like now so I just want to say thanks for watching this episode of Auditing Angling on the That's On with Ben Elliott channel. I like doing these, they're alright, gets me out, gets me a bit of exercise and not only that, but I get to see parts of venues that I don't normally see when I'm just confined to one fishing peg at a time. Having a nice walk around like I have done today sort of gives you a bit of an insight as to what else the venue offers and the heritage of it as well. So thanks for watching this episode, remember to like and subscribe if you've not already and I will see you on the next one.